Did you know that the risk of suicide was 46% higher in rural areas than in urban areas? Let's talk more about that. The month of September is National Suicide Prevention Awareness Month, and we thought it would be a good time to have a conversation with Jenna Lee Lundquist, who is our Director of Senior Life Solutions here at Door County Medical Center. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So, you know, one of the things that always strikes me is, um, you know, I think people sometimes have the idea that we live in Door County, it's a vacation area, it's very idyllic in that sense. Um, but this can happen anywhere. Um, and, I, and I know we have an older population. How does that play into, the, into all this? Um, actually, adults 65 and over account for 18% of suicide. Wow. So it's not just younger kids, that right. sort of thing. Yep. And do we have a sense as to why that might be? Um, I believe it mainly has to do with like social isolation when you get older um, or not reaching out or having friends around anymore mm -hmm. because maybe your friends have moved or passed away themselves yeah. so you don't have a lot of interaction with other people. Sure, that makes a lot of sense. So what, what kinds of things can we do to help mitigate those elderly people that may be thinking of taking their lives? You can always reach out and talk with them, ask them how they're doing, um, follow up with them. If you notice someone that maybe went to a social event that they always used to go to and now they're not anymore, it might be worth it just to reach out and ask them, you know, are you okay? Or maybe they need a ride there and can't get there themselves. Absolutely. And I know the big thing about this month again is prevention, trying to prevent it and trying to just bring awareness to this very important issue. So as we focus on more the senior population, given our senior life solutions, what have you seen that are maybe risk factors or warning signs that we should be aware of? Um, increased social isolation. Uh, sometimes seniors will give away prize possessions mm -hmm. or things mm -hmm. that are important to them. Do you ever see um, maybe substance use, drinking alcohol, yes. if they have pain medications, do they use that more often? Yes, yes. Drinking alcohol is another really big risk factor, especially um, drinking alone, at yeah. home alone, because they're not going out as much. Right, right. Well, and I think I think the, the ultimately the goal is to just be aware of this, hence the name of the month that we're observing. Just awareness so that if we're seeing something that maybe isn't what we're used to seeing out of a loved one or a friend or a neighbor, we can try and be there and be supportive and uh, encourage them to seek help. We were talking earlier about an interesting approach to confronting someone that may be showing signs. Can you talk about that? Yeah, so if you feel that someone is showing signs, um, you can ask them, are you thinking of suicide? Studies actually show that asking them that question does not increase their risk, but it opens up the door to start that discussion and that conversation. And then you can talk about talk with them and um, get them the resources that they need. Mm -hmm. And if it truly is a crisis situation, you can always go to the emergency room or um, call the police. There is a mental health uh, police officer in Door County that can help as well. That's great information. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Now, there is a number that uh, can be called if someone has an issue. What is that number? That number is 988, and you can actually call or text the number, um, and you will be connected with someone to help you through a crisis or if you are experiencing suicidal thoughts. Wonderful. Well, thanks again, Jenna Lee. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for joining us.